In this problem, we have a polynomial, and we have to prove that it is irreducible over the rational numbers. Let's go ahead and work through this proof. So to do this, we're going to use something called Eisenstein's criteria, which basically says if we can find a prime number, which I'll call uh, lowercase p, such that that prime number divides this one here, this one here, and this one here, but it does not divide this one. And we also have the condition that p squared does not divide the constant term, so I'll just say a sub 0, then the polynomial is irreducible over the rationals. All right, let me say that one more time because it's, it's a lot. So you got to find a prime p that will divide this, divide this, divide this, not divide this, so divide all of the circled ones, don't divide the leading coefficient, and then when you square that prime, it can also not divide the constant term. If all of that is satisfied, then your um, polynomial is irreducible over the rationals. So it's such a big deal that it has its own name. It's called Eisenstein's criterion, right? So it's a really, really big, uh, big thing in, in abstract algebra. Okay, so what's a prime number that would work? It looks like 7, so all we have to do is just specifically state it in the problem. So note, p equals 7 is prime and p divides 28, p divides 21, p divides negative 7, but p does not divide 4 and p squared, which is 49, does not divide 28. So we have that p divides all of the circled ones, but it doesn't divide the leading coefficient, and p squared doesn't divide, doesn't divide the constant term. So this means f is irreducible over the rational numbers by Eisenstein's criteria. And that completes the proof. I hope this video has been helpful.